I'm Shelley Appleton. Welcome to this training insight. This is tantrums, threats, and angry years. So I received the following message from a client. I'm at a complete loss. I have a rising eight-year-old warm blood cross mare I've had an hour for two years, and she's showing a complete lack of motivation to work in the arena for more than 15 minutes tops. I'm not asking for much, lots of trotting with walk breaks. It's the breaks that make her have a tantrum about having to trot again. She's quite nappy. Gosh, the threat to rear, a few bronchs, flat ear expressions. Help, what am I doing wrong? This was my reply. Sounds like her motivation to respond to you has something competing with it. It could be that she has a negative perception of work. Causes of this include an evasion. She's worked out that she can get you to back off by engaging in threatening behavior. Or she has an unsoundness or discomfort that's motivating her to avoid work and because it's making her uncomfortable. Can you get me some footage so I can see? I got back. Thank you. I'll do that. I can't wait to get the, to the bottom of this. And I think you're right. She has learned to get me to back off as I value our relationship. I don't think she's unsound, just unfit. She's had body work many times with no ongoing issues. So let's have a look at the footage. Okay. So we have a horse and she's showing lots of like, she's tossing her head, she's swishing her tail. She's moving out sideways. So instead of moving herself forward, she's throwing herself sideways. So she's got a lot of tension through her. You can see that. You know, and here she's, she's, uh, she's all discombobulated, right? All the muscle chains aren't working properly. There's a lot of emotion there. She's thinking about having a bit of a bronch. Very unhappy horse. But I can also see what the rider's doing. The rider's not adding to it, right? She's sitting there. She's not necessarily backing off. She's trying, but the horse is just, it, it's really unhappy. Okay, and this bit of footage here, similar thing, not wanting to go forward, shaking the head, swishing the tail, goes off, is a bit rushy all over the shop. She's counterbanding herself. She's falling in. You know, she's wrong lead, counterflexed, etc. So just a horse that's showing a hell of a lot of negative emotions. Yeah, a lot of head tossing. But I can see the rider's not adding to it. Okay, so what do I see? I see a horse that's displaying negative emotions in relation to going forward. I see a horse with tension, contortion, gait abnormalities, unbalanced, counterbending, swishing the tail, and those defensive flattened ears. And I see a rider that's not adding to a situation and they're not necessarily backing off either. So I also see a horse in very good condition. I also see a lot of green grass and it's currently spring. So what does this mean? Because I, I have to take this into consideration. So here's my advice and what it was. I see some red flags. I see motivation for behavior with a high chance of it being pain. I also see red flags for insoundness and a risk for subclinical laminitis. Therefore, I refer this case to the vet and to commence a diet change for potential subclinical laminitis issues. Seven days later, after instigating this change, this is what happened from this horse's owner. So if you'd said to me this time last week that C would be feeling as good as she did today, I would have said no way. She's been on low sugar hay and a natural feed with extra salt and calcium since Monday. What a difference. So next time you have a horse being difficult or threatening or getting emotional, try this. Consider all reasons that might be motivating that horse to resist what you're asking it to do. And do what C's owner did and take action on the advice.